it's the job of a university to, to create knowledge. That, that's what we're here for. So the Biodesign Institute is an institute within the university. The term we use is we illuminate threats. These are things that challenge us every day. And the institute is here to understand those problems well enough to solve them. What biodesign does is it brings bi biologists and physicists and engineers all together in one place to s solve uh, biomedical problems, these kinds of things that we're talking about. The biodesign in general and ASU in general is, is, is probably the most collaborative of, of anything of anywhere I've ever been. This is what they like to call a laboratory without walls, where there is no space separating us. For a project like this, building a, a new particle accelerator, we have the accelerator, we have very powerful lasers, we have lots of magnets in here. We will be doing a new kind of medical imaging that lets us see soft tissues. Um, for instance, plaques on artery walls or very small tumors we'll be able to see for the first time. We can see things that can't be seen with the current x-rays. This can lead to the development of new drugs. And what we can do with this x-ray beam is study how those drugs bind to the targets, develop new drugs, and so yes, we fully expect to, that pharmaceuticals will be able to develop new drugs with this. Between the research it does and the funding it, it, it brings in, it's well over a billion dollars now that we brought since we've started, which is only about 12, 13 years ago now. Biodesign as a whole, I think, is, is, is probably the most unique facility in the world. And I think those are going to be really important at addressing overarching uh, mechanisms of disease, which is what we have to do. We have to look at it from multiple angles, and the only way to do that is to have a facility like this. It's an innovative area. Tempe's an innovative city. It thinks that way. It thinks about what's next, not what was in the past. That's the way it looks at things. That's exactly how biodesign looks at things, and so we want the scientists who are here to spin out and do things within the local community, and so you need a community and an environment that thinks creatively, that thinks innovatively for them to move into.